Hello! So this is my second attempt at this video, so it's probably not going to be as cool as the other version was, even though the other version was mega lame. Because there was a foible with my camera, i.e. my phone. Not sure what happened, but anyway, trying this again. Flesh and Blood. Yes, Flesh and Blood by Carolyn Burns. So as you can see, this is a Harlequin Intrigue series book. And on the cover is this lovely little lady all sprawled out with this creepy ass Cinderella looking prince dude hovering over her as she sleeps. So the cover says he enchanted her evenings and haunted her nights. Let me just say, because I've already done this once, there is like no smut in this book to be found. I'm not sure how a romance novel exists that does not have smut in it. I thought that was kind of, I mean, that's kind of the point, right? Like, I mean, romance, yeah, like stuff about love and whatnot. But isn't there supposed to be smut? Or do they not do that in Harlequin Romance? Is it like, is the, are these books for like people that want to have feels but not like feels? Or like, like who are these aimed at? I really don't know. But there is no smut that I saw anywhere in this book. But let me read the description to you. Betrayed, first off. The word peeled in Emma Devlin's head like a death knell. Her murdered husband's ghost had appeared to her claiming he had been destroyed by those he loved. As much to preserve her sanity as to quell his restless spirit, she sought answers at Ravenwood, an antebellum mansion steeped in legend. But nothing could have prepared her for a dust-darkened encounter at Sword Point. Sword Point. With a mesmerizing Confederate cavalry officer. Historian Nathan Cates sat his horse superbly, looking as if he'd just ridden out of a history book himself, fresh from the siege of Vicksburg. Like a gallant knight of old, of the Old South, he was offering his help to a damsel in distress, hoping to heal Emma's scar-worn heart, and promising to protect her from the danger that stalked her every move. I think I figured this out. This is like a heart, uh, like a, what's that channel? Hallmark Channel Romance? So it's like barely hot, not even. Is that what's going on with Harlequin romance novels? One thing I think is super cool is that at the beginning, first of all, there's a nice little map. My husband, the cartographer, would appreciate that. Well, this hardly is a map like he makes. But anyway, they have a cast of characters, which I think is a cool idea. So, having surfed this book previously, I know that Diamond is a man with a nickname, an attitude, and a gun, and he's the one that killed her husband. FYI. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have ruined the book, because I know you're all clamoring to go out and buy this book. So, I think that this book is actually kind of good. Like, I mean, I haven't read it, so I'm basing it off of just, like, kind of skimming through it um it just seems like a regular old book like there's nothing like nothing about this stands out to me as like oh my god that's awful um unlike that 50 shades of gray book that I couldn't even help the sarcasm that I read with um let me see if I can find something There's literally nothing smutty about this. I don't even think they like hold hands or something. I mean, am I wrong to think that that is a part of a romance story? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, let me just read a little excerpt here. My fingers closed around the no the rose. The nose, really? A sharp thorn on a stem pricked my thumb, and a single drop of blood trickled down my hand. Mary Quinn had saved my life. It wasn't possible, but it had happened. No one would believe me if I tried to tell them. No one except the man at the foot of the stairs 
and I felt certain he was dead. I forced myself up, my throat burned and ached, and my legs betrayed me with rubbery bones. I found the man who killed my husband, but I still didn't know who was behind it. I was only half finished with my quest. I started down the steps, stopping only long enough to pick up the weapon that had been thrown from Diamond's hand, see Diamond. The handle was hand carved, designed to fit a larger hand, a man's hand. I remembered that Robert Mason had said the weapon used to kill Frank. This might be the one, Frank and James, a Carl and Carlton Frazier, a murderer's weapon of choice. It made me sick. <laughs> See what I mean? It's not bad writing. Like, I think it's pr this is probably a good story. But I'm looking for trash, and I ain't finding it. So I want to say, I apologize for not picking something smutty enough to entertain you with. However, I think this book is okay. Like if I was going to read a book, but I'm not going to read a book because I don't have time to read books when I'm writing books. Um, I think this would be an okay book to, like, if you're into, like, tepid, um tepid hints at romance that are involving murder mysteries. Not my thing, but hey, I thought since there was clearly a ghost on the cover and it was called Flesh and Blood, maybe there'd be something juicy in here. I ain't seeing it. However, I mean, they don't even kiss at the end. I mean, I guess because she's over, she's getting over her dead husband. Clearly, she's there to solve the murder of her husband. I don't know. I'm sorry for this. I hope y'all were moderately entertained. And um, I hope to find something more disgusting for my next review or reading. It's not really a review because I'm going to review something that I read like, like a page off. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys are having a great day. Bye.